Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time Saga came up with the bright idea that, you know, we can use the clicker to bring Alan back. Uh, because what it does is it makes something permanent through artistic interpretation. So we managed to get the old gods of Asgard back for a encore performance, late encore performance, a repeat, not a repeat. They came up with a brand new song to try and uh, get Alan out of the out of the dark place, accompanied by both Alex, Casey, our partner, and uh, FBC agent Estevez. Um, we had a rock concert, much like in the first game, uh, where we tried to bring Alan back. He fizzled into reality and then fizzled back out, and we have no idea why. And now we are playing as Alan back from where we try to get back into the parliament building, uh, not parliament building, the parliament heights, I think it was called his apartment building, uh, from like 10 videos ago. I don't even know when was the last time we played as Alan, but yeah, that's what we're doing now. Yeah. I'm not going to fight anything cause we are not looking too hot in terms of health items and Flashlights, batteries, the whole shebang. Yeah, you can't come in here, bitch. So you can fuck right off. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. Yeah, we've had a bunch of rewrites. Yeah, we've had a whole mess of rewrites uh, that kept bringing us back here and changing the story so that we can hopefully get back to the to reality. Gone. Initiation 9. Nobody lived here anymore. Was I too late? So... Scratch was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. He's in I there. Need to get inside. Dark place, the art of Alice Wake. Yeah, there's literally nothing. the wall that's funny does he not care that we're here rage inside of him. I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. I'm 
made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. What are you planning on doing? She's going to be subjecting herself to something. Oswick took her own life shortly after completing her work on the Dark Place. She'll be missed, but will live on through her art. What follows are her final photographs. She jumps off the cliff. Did she jump back into the lake? She didn't even jump. Just walked right off. Was it like a self-fulfilling prophecy that he became Scratch? But that doesn't make sense. Wait. How can he be in the dark place and in reality at the same time? We even saw at the end of the first Alan Wake... He split into two. He was a doppelganger. Like he had his doppelganger was Scratch. Nightingale in the overlap. 
That's why there was the fuzziness. Hey. But why now? Why then? Are you okay? <gasps> no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. Yo, oh, Jesus. Of course we did. Back in oh. Wanna reload maybe? I thought he was being hit by the thing. Had it. Come on, just finish this one at least. Okay, that one's done. Oh, jeez. The lights are ready. Just gotta get started. God. Back in business. Use the light on him. Got him. The lights are out. Hang in there, Anderson. Oh. Can you pick up some stuff, please?
This should be a purely Alan now. I'm sorry. Wait. Is it you? I'm so sorry. Did it work? Uh oh. Official. Dear Fist is cancelled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. Well, shit. Oh, we're playing as Alan now. Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're you just call me Tom. For you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom. I'd seen it all play out, like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The dark presence held all the cards now. What are you guys doing? And don't tell me, none of the, I can't pick up any items. I, uh, and I don't even have any items. I forgot I'm not in the dark place anymore. Fuck. Hi. Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The Shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. What can I do? I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is, are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Okay, about Saga. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. <laughs> What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. Actually, you know what I you could do? The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. What you could do, call for fucking backup. You have a whole bureau on your side.
Maybe one agent is enough to isn't enough to handle this shit anymore. Do we go this way? Yeah, it looks like I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence. Um... I don't even have a map. I can't go into my mind place or anything like that. I wanted to see how I can get out of this area. Just follow the yellow brick road, I guess. See, I was really hoping to avoid combat, but... Oh, I'm all the way here. Lovely. And of course, I gotta go the long way around. Because of course I do. I... You fucking... Of course you don't have stuff for me. Why would you? Oh. Really? Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Everything's blocked off. Yeah. 
going in there unless I absolutely have to. Oh my god, oh my... Go, go, go. In the dark place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened. But I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was hunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. Turned me into scratch. Just making sure there's nothing here. All right. Sorry guys, I haven't been saying anything for a little while. Um, I'm still kind of trying to wrap... I'm still trying to wrap my head around exactly what's going on. Because it's not making sense to me. Because if Alan was trapped in the dark place this whole time... Sorry. Let me clarify. When I say this whole time, I mean between the events of Alan Wake 1 and 2. Because Alice has been seeing um, Mr. Scratch, right? She committed suicide because he would not leave her alone. And there have been reports with the FBC about, uh, about Alan Wake. Oh, or Scratch, sorry. So if... If Scratch is Alan Wake possessed, how has he been able to get out of the dark place? Like, is he going in and out the whole time? Like, that's what I'm being confused about. Like, is he Alan when he's in the dark place, but once Scratch takes over him, he comes out of the dark place and terrorizes in reality? Is that, is that what's going on? But he can only do it temporarily, which is why he needs a clicker to be permanent. That's what I'm not understanding. I had to get to Bright Falls. See this through to the end. Well, it's a good thing Saga left her keys in the car. I brought Saga Anderson into the story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in, a leap of faith for Alice, with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead, because of me. And I was gonna make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. the dark place here with me i never had gotten out maybe after this i finally could it was a fool's hope i had no choice i had to do it 
That didn't make me any less terrified. Turn eight. This is not what I expected. Wait, how are we going backwards? When we got to the apartment, it said initiation nine. Now we're return eight. Eh. Wake deftly tricks the reader into believing the cult of the tree is the story's antagonist. Of course, everyone's wearing a deer mask. This motherfucker is a home run! What's my go? Explore Bright Falls. Okay. Alan Wake's okay. latest novel, Return, is breaking every literary record in existence. It's the great American novel. Yeah, that's how you know you're in a fucking dream. Rest in peace, Yako. Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. The book only weighs one pound? That's a light ass book. I guess I've seen everything that they've done. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around return, as if it had just been published. A spellbinding tour de force. Yeah, I wonder if they're sold out. Only ten bucks. Return is a story that can help believe. That's a cheap ass book. Hello again, friend. It is good music. The tragedy of Saga losing her family is a blatant commentary on a woman's struggle to balance her personal and professional lives. 
if you say so. And this guy's naked here again. Departure is one upped by the absolutely mind frying dark ocean summoning. Where do I sign up to live at the Valhalla nursing home? It's residents are laugh out loud, honey. <coughs> This is um, not a very, not quite the celebration I was expecting. I mean, last time they had like a parade and shit. Oh, excuse me. Oh, is that Sam Breaker? Oh, never mind. I thought that was a sheriff's uniform. Is that Ilmo? It looks like Ilmo. Hi. You know, I'm standing out in, in two ways among the crowd. First, you know, I'm obviously not wearing a deer mask. Second, I'm obviously Alan fucking Wake. No, no resemblance. People... Yeah, they, they don't see anything. Is that the book? I could see the round windows of the writer's room. Hang on. Trapped in a prison of shadows. Struggles to, uh, to escape only push him deeper in this ocean of darkness. But when a peaceful small town is invaded by the forces of supernatural darkness, the writer breaks free to come to its defense. Living shadows, murderous cultists, and reckless government agents all await him in this maze of blood and horror. The Master is back, an auto-fictional masterpiece that will tear the heart right out of your bloody chest cavity. In the photo, that the genius writer, okay. It's where I had to go to rewrite the ending of Return. Uh oh Sick, sick story. <laughs> Well, shit. room to stop this horror story. I think they're not breaking out the window. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. And this is our home? Well, scratch his home. I needed to reach the writer's room. Write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? I it would sure bring was. his sick fantasy crashing down around him. Oh, this is the Valhalla nursing home. So the writer's room, I'm guessing that's the room on the third floor with like the spiral on the door. Do we need to go to the basement first? No. I 
had to find another way inside. Front door? Or front gate, rather? Nip. I guess we're going where that light is. that Alice was dead vision was this a trap or was scratch torturing me yes the answer is a resounding yes I, I'm looking around. I'm pretty sure there's nothing to find. I think we're past the point of, like, collectibles. diner how are you here <laughs> i'm here to save you silly i got your instructions i found every hidden message you left for me in the radio in the wind in the forums on my alan wake fan site what no rose i haven't been leaving you any messages oh i get it yes alan only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages <laughs> wink but now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Well, nice to see not much has changed. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We loop around and come to Keter, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and Vileda. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti, 
I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Hmm. Now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ati. I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Okay. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. So the end. Uh, Eternal Deerfest? The novel return came true, my final divine work of art. First granted to the people of Bright Falls, and over time it would spread. Celebration reaching everyone. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread tangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Then let's gotta move on, bro. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. Oh, we go from the the dark side? The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. But the question remains, who's the hero? Is it Alan or a saga? The dark horror ending. To save them all, the hero must pay the price. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. This is a good piece. Now we get 
see what happened to Saga. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. Okay. And I'm going to call it here. This episode's uh, starting to run a little bit long. Um, yeah, it really seems like we're nearing the end of the game. So they're saying it doesn't feel like it to me. Because there's still a lot of um, prep work, I guess, they need to do. Because, like, we don't have the clicker. Uh, Saga's in the fucking dark place. Tor and Odin followed her in. Like, I don't know. I don't know how much longer there is left in the game. It could be 20 minutes. It could be three, four hours. Like, I have no idea. And I have no idea how they're going to end this. I'm actually really... Um, I'm intrigued. Like, obviously, someone, I mean, as they said, someone's going to have to pay the price. I wonder if we get to choose. You know what I mean? Like, uh, actually, I, I, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think there's multiple endings to the to this game. I would think it's, I would think it's a pretty definitive ending. Uh, none of the Remedy games that I'm aware of uh, have multiple endings. So, paying the price. I mean, it could easily be Saga paying the price with Logan. It could be Alan paying the price with his wife. It could be either of them paying the price of staying in the dark place. Either or both of them. Or maybe Casey. Maybe Casey's the, he has to die. But he's not the hero. I don't know. We'll see where they're going with this at some point. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.